welcome back to my channel I'm Nicole Jackson and I'm so excited to bring you guys another video today this one is gonna be like a real cute one okay I'm gonna give you guys kind of like a shopping um, my personal style update and then I did pick up like maybe three things um, from nasty gal so I'm gonna show you guys those things but I kind of wanted to show you all how I'm gonna be redeveloping my style in the next coming months and just talk more into that but before first before we start make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel again if you are new here I am Nicole Jackson I specialize in cold style which is my personal style and I also do a lot of beauty and lifestyle videos and hair so if you guys are feeling that vibe go ahead and hit that subscribe button I would love for you guys just to go on this journey with me as far as my style which I'll get more into <laughs> in this video and also like and comment this video if you are kind of going through what I'm going through as far as your style and you're redeveloping it like and comment if you're feeling my pieces and also since I mentioned the gram go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Nicole Jack and let's get right into this video all right y'all I have my tea too so I'm gonna be drinking my tea let's go ahead and have like a little yogi moment real quick my um, quote says compassion will make you beautiful amazing um, my quote yesterday was like that it was like um, pieces of you will come back piece by piece and ugh, sis felt that but yeah let's get right into this video so I really wanted to talk about like the redevelopment of my style because I did a blog post earlier this week um if you're not hit to my website nicolejackson.com go ahead and check it out because I have content on there that is not on YouTube but I did a blog post over there just talking about how like okay first of all your girl was in her feels okay and I could not sleep my head was going a thousand miles per second of course I know the reason why but I'm not about to spill that tea okay it's a little too personal for y'all to know girl was in her feels basically um I, I was in a mood and sleep just was not even an option so I really wanted to put out kind of like a personal blog post about my style because I don't think that's something that I've ever like talked to you guys about and I think a lot of you all can relate um, just with my transition and redevelopment of style and I know as you're watching these style videos you're trying to do that too to your closet so I really wanted to talk about that but basically I had my son in 2014 and before I had my son like my style was so me I in high school like in high school I used to wear colors I used to wear sneakers like I wore dunks to school I wore at that time the little DC shoes were hip like they were hype so I had those like I wore so many sneakers and I just like wore so many colors like it's crazy the colors I wore and then in college like I was blazer queen like this was before blazers honestly was like really a thing how it is now and before social media but I wore blazers like every single day that was my staple and I had like the biggest array of blazer collection that you ever saw but a lot of them were cheap and from H&M so I just gave that away once I graduated college like maybe two year one or like not even it was I graduated 2013 but 2014 when I had my son um afterwards like I really kind of like lost my style um and it was because of two things just like motherhood and then also like I was running like running and fitness became so much of my life in these past couple of years that like wearing fitness clothes was just better and easier for me to put on and motivated me to go to the gym and I came like I became really complacent in my clothing and what I would wear um and as I look back in pictures like I can tell like a lot of the clothing that I wore were just like simple buys like simple and and don't get me wrong I love a minimalistic style I'm very much like that's kind of like what I'm going into right now um but it was just like a complete 180 from how I used to get dressed um and especially within this like last two years so I want to say it was maybe like Astro World um two years ago it was or it's like a yeah Asher world 2018 so yeah two years ago i think like around that time um homecoming like around that time 2018 jiho shout out the ant 
Diho, around that time, like I really started to dive back into getting dressed. And then I went through a phase where I kind of like was going through a lot too, like in 2019. And then as I was really like really getting myself back together, going to therapy, it works. It works. But starting going to therapy and doing so much, like I started also watching YouTube videos a lot more and just to help me kind of like redevelop my style again. So here we are like maybe a year, like yeah, basically, no, yes, definitely more than a year later. My style has redeveloped like drastically. I, I definitely have seen such an improvement from just wearing workout clothes to like actually getting dressed. But even right now i'm still like trying to find out what signature code like you know what signature me i'm really trying to go through you know my personal style and figure that out so with that you saw like at the beginning of the year i did a um purge in my closet and i got rid of so much stuff and i ended up getting rid of more stuff because honestly there were things that i just was holding on to and i know that i did not want that to be my style nor i you know as i'm going through these changes i know that that just was like not me anymore so i gave a lot of that stuff away and my closet is very bare and thin right now as i'm redeveloping my style too i'm not doing purchases right now like to be honest i've only done like two on online shopping experiences and this second one around only brought like three pieces and um I've only done those like purchases because the sales were like too good to be true on items that I knew I was going to get a lot of longevity out of but I'm not shopping right now because a, I don't know if, you know, summer is basically canceled here in the DMV. Honestly, even if they do start opening back up, I don't know if I want to be around people like that. I don't want to, you know, catch that second string of coronavirus. I don't feel comfortable. Um, and I'd rather just invest my money right now in fall clothes, which I've kind of been doing. So I'd rather just invest in fall pieces and kind of like let that be it. But I've been, you know purchasing like some pants because I'm realizing I need more pants too but also because like I'm going through a lifestyle change too with my eating and working out way more so with that like I'm going to be losing weight I don't want to invest in pieces that may not fit me a couple of months from now and then have to deal with tailoring have to deal with like all of that stuff I rather just buy the pieces when I get to my goal and then I can by what's realistically great for my body so with that I just want to kind of explain to you why I've kind of like been on pause with shopping I really haven't been posting a lot of style videos like that because I am like re discovering my style right now I'm re finding it out like of course I have my staples that have always been true to me black and white black and white has always been my favorite colors that's always going to be a closet staple but I'm going through so many changes and I'm and again my style is very much like just ha, just as I've said in the beginning I wear what I feel one day if I want to dress a little tomboyish and wear some sweatpants and a sweatshirt and some and some you know Yeezys whatever I can throw that on in the next day if I want to dress girly with some heels and my Saint Laurent's and you know call that like I'll do that too like I wear how I feel I don't just dress feminine and that's my vibe like no I dress feminine and masculine I, I like that twist so I know kind of like the staples of what I want my style to be I'm just really just trying to figure out you know what those pieces are and I feel like once those pieces call me then I make those purchases I mean I think it's fun too because like a lot of things that you see on YouTube right now like a lot of the influencers and stuff that you see they're very developed in their style like they're giving you things that are their style but I don't think you ever really get to see like the journey that they go on to figure out their style to figure out what looks good on them to figure out like what aesthetic what vibe they want like that's what I'm on like that's my vibe right now I'm that's what I'm like rediscovering and trying to figure out I really just want to take you guys with me and also like make it so that if you're going through that too like it's helpful in a way to use to where you can figure out your style I think that's the number one question I've gotten 
um, is just how to figure out your style, how to figure out what works for you. And it's honestly, you really have to see what calls you, what's your vibe, what's your favorite colors, what's flattering on you, what's not. I pretty much know a lot of the things that are flattering and are not. But again, I'm going through such a lifestyle change right now that um, I really have to re-figure that out, right? Like I gotta, I gotta rediscover that and with that, like pieces that I pick out are gonna change. I mean, I wanna take you guys with me. I hope this is not like blah, okay? Because trust me, I'm gonna put out more content and more things that I love. Um, but guys, I want it to be like authentic. I want it to be my vibe. I want it to be like my journey and you see my growth in my clothing. And I'm growing so much inward that that's now reflecting, out, reflecting outward too, right? Like I want my standards um that i'm upgrading personally to be reflected in my clothes too right like new coal all new coal okay i, I really been on the new coal vibe a selfish coal vibe okay and that selfish has been like transforming every single thing about me right now and that's even my clothes so i did want to show you what i have purchased though from um nasty gal i did do a purchase that was my first time doing a purchase there and i'm gonna be really truthful about these pieces that i picked the things that they develop now are a lot more on the trendier side um you know just like your basic pretty little thing all those sites and honestly i'm trying to stay away from that but that sale that they had you could not like it was like 50 or 60 percent off with the extra 10 percent off and okay so and it was like this wasn't on sale this was on the whole website i mean everyone is going through this sale phase right now all the retail companies are going through it all the designers are going through it where they're doing um where they're doing sample sales online fear god did it fenty is doing it like a lot of places are doing sample sales and huge online sales right now um so again i'm not doing like big purchases you already saw my asos haul but other than that i didn't want to do like i was going to do a video but i didn't want to do like a separate video or i didn't want to do its own video of this nasty gal because it's literally only three pieces and what's the point of that let me go ahead and flip it over and then i'm gonna take you and show you these pieces y'all but can we just have a moment of silence for this new camera and the clarity okay and my skin is glowing right now honestly i don't know if it's glowing or if it's greasy but we can call it glowing tonight but can we just have a moment of silence for this upgrade this like a, just have a little appreciation for this upgrade of content y'all about to get okay uh, i'm happy uh, i'm happy oh also i didn't even say it too i took the weave out if you notice it was in like three weeks but again like with my lifestyle change i keep saying that because this is not a diet okay diets are not long term a lifestyle change and with my lifestyle change um i just got tired of having to like blow dry my hair every time i needed to film so i went ahead and just you know i'm, I'm gonna let the natural rock for the next probably month and then after that i'll probably put the hair back in but this is what i'm wearing i'm just wearing this asos like razorback tank these that i just wore in the asos haul these are the asos pants the high-waisted pants and then I'm a little cold so I just stripped this Target cardigan that I got like years ago and it's just like the most comfy thing ever um, so this is kind of just like my chill house look right now I was really just pulling things that was in my closet and just pulling outfits and seeing what I like and didn't like and you know for shooting so this is what I got so everyone has this and okay I wanted to get it too and it looks a little oversized now but this is the muscle tee that literally everyone has honestly I love this tee it has a little bit of makeup on it because I did do a picture in it and I just took it off and put it back up so probably have makeup I love this in muscle tee honestly it's my vibe it's a masculine vibe um that you can pair with something feminine and just looks amazing and it's black it's edgy i feel like that is completely my vibe and it's something like you know you don't really want to get into trends like that but this trend is you know me 
like it's me it's like blazers like you everyone wears blazers but says blazers look amazing on everyone like if that's your style just wear it but it comes with the shoulder pads which i love too the shoulder pads honestly feel a little flimsy this is what it looks like um in the inside um i do want to try they had a black and white one i want to try the zara one too i'm not well i heard that the zara one doesn't come with the shoulder pads but i do want to try it but i think just for the price of this of how much it was with the sale like I, I brought it immediately the next thing I got which I wore with the muscle tee were these um, faux leather faux leather pants and sorry if you see my little vision board right there I'm, I gotta put it back on the wall but these cute faux leather pants and there they have like a straight leg it's not a wide leg pant um, or it's not skinny too it's just like a very straight leg pant that will look really cute with um, some heels some open toed heels like honestly that's how i'm seeing that vibe go um and maybe with my neon probable shoes i'm thinking yeah i think it would look really cute with that so um the pants again these are the jogger pants and i got these in a size 12 um again i don't know how it's gonna go because with me losing um making lifestyle changes who knows how these pants are going to fit me but um i just really wanted to get them because i think they're like an amazing um winter fall piece that i can pair with anything and um hopefully i don't look like mc hammer okay the last thing i wanted a pair of shorts so i ended up picking up these high-waisted white shorts and okay y'all these are a little bit problematic because i think they're literally fit for a white girl no offense to all my white lovely people but we are shaped a little differently okay and it's like little cute it's like a little cute pair of high-waisted shorts um if you um honestly if you look back to like greece and stuff and those old movies to that era and they used to wear those high-waisted gym shorts like during gym <laughs> in high school like this is how they look but they make you look completely flat I don't know I wanted to pair it with like my graphic tees like I have this Big Sean one right here that I was gonna pair it with this Big Sean one um, that I got from the concert which I love and I really wanted to just pair this white pair and some sneakers with it but y'all I don't know about this like the way it was looking like <laughs> I would have to get some butt pads or something honestly truly like it just was not I think just I don't know if it's how it's made or what it is but it 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 it, it it's not um and they still have the tag on it these are the run for it high waisted runner shorts so yeah sis those aren't runner shorts i'm a runner and I, I know what runner shorts are but yeah so those are like the three pieces that i got and we're i'm gonna keep the shorts honestly um i'm gonna have to figure it out maybe i'll take it to a tailor once we open back up but i'm really gonna have to figure this out because yeah uh, I, we can't return anything right now honestly too so that's not even an option but the pants and the shirt are yes the shorts ugh, you on probation all right y'all so this will wrap up my video um i really wanted to keep it kind of short and sweet hopefully it was but i just wanted to give you guys like a basic style update show you guys some pieces that i have picked up and just let you know what you're going to be seeing in the next couple of months like me really discovering my style and i'm so excited honestly to be doing that to be you know becoming the woman that i am destined to be and just taking the time out to honestly become my best self and look my best and you know keep your standards high and your heels higher okay that's the plan again you guys let me know in the comments if you're going through like style like if you're going through like a right right now with your style if you need 
to like redevelop it if you really need to like figure out what works with you and your aesthetic or how you want to look like you know a lot of people see like other people's style and they're like wow i wish i could wear that like sis you can you can wear that don't think you can't take the time to really figure out what works for you and implement some of that stuff into your style and i'm telling you like you'll be happier doing it and i'm honestly happier you know looking how i know you know like i should be looking like style is so much to me style and clothing and pieces and 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 fashion is so much a part of me and it's always been a part of me that um me not even like looking my best or wearing pieces that make me feel confident or just like you know just just being totally obsessed with my style is just like it, it's just like it's is if it's off it's an off feeling it's not a vibe it's, it's not good energy right yeah y'all i will see you guys in the next video